Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer from the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to continue working on our uh, FTP downloader. Now you may have been thinking to yourself that well what if they put in a an invalid server so let's say this is invalid when I click save server settings you can see um, that if I click home directory it's gonna try and connect to that and you may think it's gonna freeze and crash but you can see that our FTP client um, VB class library has this built into it so, so that if it cannot connect to the FTP server it's going to show them a message box saying uh, that it could not be resolved so it could not connect. Now this is something that makes our lives a whole lot easier um, when we're building this program because it checks for us automatically and it already has error exception handling in it. So uh, thanks to Howard Richards for that. So now let's go ahead and allow the user to upload a file. So we'll access the click event for upload and what we need to do is create an open file dialog. So we'll go ahead and get rid of this and what we need to do is come into our designer, come over to our toolbox and scroll down to dialogs. So we'll open up and or we'll add an open file dialog and we'll just call this open file to upload. Just hit enter there and it looks like we put that in the wrong field. That needs to go in the name. So now what we need to do is we'll do declare path name as string and then we'll do file name as string. And let's go ahead and type open file to upload dot title and we'll set that equal to please select a file to upload. Okay, so now I'll type if open file to upload dot show dialog is equal to Windows or let's see forms let's see Windows dot forms dot dialog result dot OK. So if the dialog result is equal to OK, then what do we want to do? Well we're gonna set path name is going to be equal to open file to upload dot file name so this is going to get the whole directory of the file so now what we need to do is get the file name now this is where it gets a little bit tricky so file name is going to be equal to string or we need to get a substring of the path name so we'll do path name dot substring and we're gonna have to give it a start index so what we're gonna do is type path file or not path file path name dot last index of so it says reports the index position of the last occurrence of a specified character within this instance so the last occurrence of I believe it's going to be a backslash so at the last index of this we just want to add one so what this is going to do is it's going to set file name equal to a substring of path name and this substring is going to start at the last occurrence of the backslash and we add one to that um, just so it'll start on the first character so let's say we've got a whole long directory like C colon backslash documents backslash hello.txt. What this is going to do is going to start at the last index of this. So let's say the last index is 15. It's going to add 1 and so it'll start at 16 and it'll take all the characters after that which will get us the file name. So now what we need to do is we need to upload that file. So let's just go ahead and enclose it in a try catch statement in case any errors happen. 
So we will call FTP downloader dot upload and the local file name is going to be equal to path name and the target file name is going to be equal to file name. And then let's see here. We'll go ahead and catch this exception. So message box dot show ex dot message. So the reason we're doing a try catch is because we might get a network error and also these might be set to null. So let's go ahead and minimize out of that. Now I know this part right here can be a little confusing, but if you play around with this and see uh, changing, changing the last index of this, um, or if you go back to the substrings tutorial um, and you look at this, you will be able to figure it out um, and see what's going on. So I'll go ahead and run this. So go ahead and click upload. And let's just go to my desktop. And let's add a, let's just upload Popeye to the FTP server. So we'll click open. And it's going to open up that um, file and it's going to upload it to the server. Now you can see that nothing's showing up right here. So what we need to do, whenever they upload, we're going to need to refresh the list. Now we'll go ahead and run this. Let's go ahead and go to the home directory. And you can see here that we have popeye.jpg. Now I'll show you this by uploading another one. And you can see here the title is please select a file to upload, which is what we um, selected. So we'll upload a villain. So we upload the villain and you can see it will update the list box and it adds villain cartoon.jpg to it. So go ahead, add this code in to upload a file. And once you've done that, if you understand it, move on to the next tutorial.